Alright, we can. Going up against the Falcons. Sets. And it's not Matt Ryan. Oops. John Booth takes over. As the 76 overall, Matt Ryan moved to a 72. Todd Gurley. I got a few. Oh, he's quick. Julio Jones, Jerry Judy, Calvin Ridley, Hayden Hurst, and defensively led by, I don't know how to say that name, Olokan, and interceptions, oh, only Bradley McDougal. So, and this year they are three and seven, three and five. So should be an easy game, hopefully. Maybe not offensively, but or sorry, not defensively, but offensively. So we'll verse them. Hey everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Atlanta Falcons. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Here we go. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. second down this is Harris only gets three yards there on the heels of the one yard pickup sets up third and six this defense looking for an early stop this is third down and six Garoppolo looks to throw he's gonna fire this th he's got a man complete and they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35 that goes for a gain of 31 so how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Building offense. That's Mike McGlinchey, former first-round pick out of Notre Dame with a penalty. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Harris. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, 
as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Second and nine now. Now he'll pull it down. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. They'll start the drive with Harris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Dorian O'Daniel, third-round pick in 2018, made the tackle. Second and five now. Garoppolo, this one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. In last week's game for Kittle, there are the numbers. Five catches, 56 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Moster. Grady Jarrett with the tackle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And that's going to be good Let's for go. another first Let's down go. as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Garoppolo. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And big usually, sigh of relief. Huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 56 to Looking to throw on second down. Boom. They go screen. This is Ingram. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A pass there over the middle to start things out. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Harris. 
And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Here we go. 180. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. In on the stop, Bradley McDougal. Second and five now. Garoppolo. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. Grady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 33. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. There's Garoppolo to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Garoppolo on the offense with a first and 10. And he's hit on his first nine passes now in the ball game. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and seven, Garoppolo. His throw caught right around the six. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here. This close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. On the delay, here's Harris. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try to run with Harris. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chest cuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that? on, what does that mean, break out? Just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why I said that. I have no idea. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. On second down, Ingram. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. On the draw, this is Ingram. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. This is taken at the 15. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. He'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Grady Jarrett, his second sack of the night. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. First down, San Francisco. 
Now a first down carry for Harris. And it gets by him, and now a little daylight. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. To throw on second and six, Garoppolo throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 41-yard line. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw is Garoppolo. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. On first down, Garoppolo. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Carter, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you to the end zone, get you six? The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Back to throw. Boom. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now San Francisco is going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Fielded at the 20. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And control of the football. Switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. So, and just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got just a... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Nick Bosa, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. 
Nick Bosa, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. He's the NFL sack leader coming into the game. And now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. From the 27, Garoppolo firing quickly here, and that's complete. From the gun on third, Garoppolo throwing right, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. This is Harris on the draw. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Throwing on second down, Garoppolo. Complete, Smith has it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Garoppolo on the offense with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. It's brought in by Harris. And he is gonna lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Garoppolo now. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Over the middle, complete. That's Maxwell. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was affected, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Again, they'll run with Ingram. Bust through the tackle. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Boom. Complete to Jones. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Matt Hawk now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. 
And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Fielding just inside the 20. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G in the 49ers. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they yeah, did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, here we go, here we really go. honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Garoppolo on first down. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Matthias Farley. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. come the Falcons and right now these guys they're shuffling a little bit maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away yeah so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit asking a lot of questions what are you seeing what are you getting maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive and he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory there to stop him on the defensive side Fred Warner now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From the gun on third down. Boom. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, that'll get them the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Looking to throw. Boom. This one complete to Ingram call it a one-yard gain on the play and it'll bring up a second down they only got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine the second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand and it's incomplete this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down back to throw Boom. he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. So with fourth down looming, Dan Quinn sends out his field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. 
but it was a crossbar that said otherwise, and that'll deny him a shot go, at three. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway, and following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! Hey, let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Check one head, head, head. Now here's another carry for Harris. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and six. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And he's got his man on the out route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Here we go. Like 20. Coming for his son. I'm coming for his son. Check it hotly. On first down, Harris. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here we go, the here last go. run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Man, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Check nine, check nine. Man. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. You end up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The Niners on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we were talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Second and one. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. On first and 10. Boom. He's going to take off with it. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escaping. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, 
Oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. This complete to Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. On first down, Booth. Jones has it. 10 yards there and a first down for the Falcons. This quarterback now, 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Booth. He dumps it down to Ingram. Give him six on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Second and four. He's got it to Ingram complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Nick Bosa in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 now on the season. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. The Falcons on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and eight. From the gun. Boom. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd. Waiting for this game has been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll bring up a second and goal. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side if they stick. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Tavarius Moore. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Now listen, it's a team game. We know that. But where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? They take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again. But on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right. And you just mentioned it. The defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. On third down, here's Harris. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. 
So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Taken from just outside the 30. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So all eyes on the Falcons. Down by 12, a minute 52 to play. Now their losing streak in danger of continuing as they come up on first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Second and 10. They go screen. This is Ingram. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Operating from the gun. Booth. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, it puts a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, deep ball, short ball. That was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. On fourth down, boom. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got his man on the crossing round. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they take a knee. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but, hey, all they needed was, well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you Did know. enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So for the 49ers, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. and six. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home 
next week. So for Charles.